Thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed last week's review of wines 12 to 17. In case you missed it, I'll put a link up above. Here we go. Wines 13 to 18. Okay, here we go. Here we go with the um, wine number 13. Wine number 13 is a Merlot called 12 Generations from Bulgaria. Good. Yeah, good. And a sweet, not too bitter, not too much tannins, I guess. It's just a bit of sweet fruit, fruit and tobacco. Actually, it's a little bit of fruit and tobacco. There you go. Very good. I would buy that. I would buy that bottle. On to our next wine. It's called Octopada, and it's made with the Macabeo wine grape variety. This is also from Spain. I actually like this wine. Uh, it reminds me of a Pinot Grigio, light and crisp, not too sweet. Our next wine, as you can see, is a rosé, or a rosado, as the bottle says. It's called Palloncini from Italy. That's good, a little sour. It's a rosé. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Not my favorite. One more, Amanda? My finish this. I like that. She does it. Yeah, man. This next wine is a red wine from Greece. It's called Blue Serena. And it's a blend of uh, Cozzifali and Syrah. <laughs> it's a uh, kind of blend. Hmm. It's all right. Wouldn't be my first choice. Hey everyone, slight venue change. We're actually at a uh, hotel in downtown San Diego, but we can't forget about the wine advent calendar from Costco, so we brought it. So our next wine is called Panonia. It's a uh, it's a white blend of uh, Zenit and Gruner Veltliner whatever that is. And it's a, a Hungarian white wine. Hmm, smells, smells good. Doesn't smell like alcohol. Hmm, kind of crisp. Like a, um, that's the Zinfandel type of flavor. A little sour. But it's good. It's not too much sweetness. I would like a little more sweetness out of this, but it's okay. It's, okay. it's an okay wine. Light. Cheers. Okay, so for tonight's wine advent selection is this red blend from Navarra, Spain. It's called Luna Brillante, right there. Again, it's a red blend of 40% uh, Trempanillo, 30% Granacha, and 30% Merlot. Let's try this out. Mm. Kind of bland for me. Um, I can definitely taste the tannins, that uh, kind of minerally um, tartness. But as far as flavor is concerned, no, no real flavor in there, no depth. So it's not a, um, 
I'm not going to be buying this one if it's ever put on sale. Again, this is Luna Brillante from Navarra, Spain. Red blend. Okay, I'm going to give this wine, the Runa Billa Luna Brillante, another chance. I have some tacos over here. Let's see how it drinks when you pair it with food. Here's my uh, carne asada taco. Which is very good, by the way, from the taco stand. Actually, now it's a more decent wine. It's um, It brought out the food, kind of brings out the flavor more of the wine but it's still not as flavorful now it's decent there i almost lost my uh, my carne asada but um yeah it's um it's drinkable now so just in case you end up with that wine make sure you have it with food okay our last night here at the hotel and the last bottle that we brought my apologies i don't think we where we were going in order anyway because i just saw a sign that said this was number 17. regardless it is a uh Ventoux 22 uh, from uh, cote de gascon in france this is another it just says an area long known not only for some of the world's greatest brandies but for exciting crisp and fruity white wines as well so this is i guess a fruity white wine ours features floral aromas citrus and green apple notes on the palate and a brisk refreshing finish okay fruity smell Hmm, actually, yeah, it is crisp. It probably still needs to develop some flavor. Another white one, that white wine that probably will pair well with something like fish or chicken. Smells good. So as you can see, we're back from our staycation uh, in downtown San Diego. So the last wine in this series is this wine called Champ Ancien, a Grenache Syrah blend from France. It's actually pretty good. Has some sweetness to it. Not overly tart. Probably pair well with some food, which I have actually had just have some egg roll right now. Yes. For a red, that's a uh, pretty easy, um, an easy drink. There's no off-putting taste. There's no off-putting smell. That alcohol that I keep talking about, it's well developed and um, definitely a keeper. So I'll, I'll probably look for for this. I wonder if Costco will carry these uh, brands. They should, right? Hopefully. For a wine that has a 13.4% alcohol by volume, that's kind of high, right? Average, but a little high. You can hardly, maybe that's the dangerous part. You can hardly smell it. But it's good, very good. Thank you for watching. Please join me for the last part of this series next week. I hope you have a Merry Christmas.